Continuing on our journey through the network analysis, today we'll be looking at building a network data set using the a network data set using GeoDatabase. You know? So this is our GeoDatabase. Now, I said earlier on that I'll be showing the difference, what uh, makes difference. Now, if you look at down here on this road, if you right click on the road, you will see directly saying new data set. That was what we used in creating um, uh, the future data set we use in doing the network analysis using this. But on the GeoDatabase, here is our GeoDatabase. If I right click on GeoDatabase, there's nowhere that says I should build a network data set. If you look through, you will not see that. And if I enter the new data set and then I do some, you will not also see that. But if I right click on the uh, future data set and then I come down to new, you will see where they say topology. You also see network data set. Okay, so that's one of the difference. So I click on new network data set and then it comes here. Now, another difference between this and the other, let me see if that also works so that we look at it. It won't work. So I was trying to see if we can be able to see the difference. Or better, let's look at it now. If you right click on this and go down to network data set, it's going to open now. You won't see anything here, right? nothing but then let's look at this new and network data set you will see that choose a version for your network data set that is which version of the ArcGIS do you want to use whether you use 10.0 or 10.1 but anyway we're using 10.8.2 so it doesn't really matter so you go next now on the other one you won't see this you only see the root because it's just the root you're clicking. But since this one is all, it's a container containing all of them. Everything you see here are the same thing that are here inside this data set, network data set. Okay, future data set it rather. But you see that everything is containing it. But what we only want to use here is the root. Okay, so, but on that other one, since you're only right clicking on root, so it's just root. But here, it has to be everything. So you go next. Now, do you want to model turn in this network? It's all depending on whether yes or no, but then let's leave it as yes. And then it's asking, no. This one say, would you like to model the elevation of your network? No. Okay, so it's asking now. We already, it's since we imported the data directly from uh, the shape file, it's going to come up with everything that we have done already so then next and next is asking do you want to establish driving uh, direction settings for this network the yes is not you can use the default direction settings you can click the direction button below this is fine so but it's not really also it's only showing i think the data is not prepared it's not a, a done to access direction i think so so we continue our journey and then we finish so it's creating so it's asking whether the new data set has been created would you like to build it now yes so it's gonna it's taking quite a lot of time because it's there are quite a lot of roads loaded in that uh, data set so we have to be patient a bit. So it's asking, do you also want to add all the future classes that participated in your talk to the map? Yes. So it's going to add all of everything. And then, yeah. So then you can now um, basically add up all of the other details uh, the stops basically so the stops are so you just drag this and drop then you can remove the root from it yeah so the stops so let me remove the root data set from among them since it's already here so basically these are how you could uh, build network 
did he said using the ship um, the future class anyway so it has created all the um, the junctions and all the things that is needed on the road on on this analysis so if we want to do new route so let me just go back, quickly finish it up here what to do new route which is the same thing as we've been doing often now uh as usual you break out the new route and then you click on this button here and it's going to bring this out so then you load the stops our stops in this case uh we load uh what okay let's we're going to load um okay let's still use the other scenario because those are the data we have i want to move from hotel to the hospital okay to the hospitals and then uh, i want to also from the hospital i want to go to uh, the supermarket all right so i will load that in so i have three of those points that are loaded in okay so uh yeah so i have those points that are loaded in so let me make it more like let's make this blue in color and then make the hotel yellow in color and then we make the supermarket red okay make the supermarket red so these are the three points we are using so now okay, so these are the three points we are using we want to move from um, the hotel to the hospital then from the hospital to the hotel okay so the journey is going to be more like okay so we check and see on the properties of the uh, new route um yeah the stops okay i think it closes yes and then okay so here we are going to use the time we can actually also use the length and the meters we're going to use time here and then we okay so now once we click on solve it's going to solve one two three so it's not going it's i know it's supposed to go one two three but then here is what happened now It moves from one, then find this suitable route to the hospital here. Then from this hospital, it found a route to the uh, supermarket here. Okay, so this may not be the best route because from here now, you want to go back to the hotel. Okay, so it's better you said you move from the hotel to the supermarket then to the hospital. Well, if you calculate the time, but I try checking the direction. You know, when we are preparing this data, we are told that it's not um, it does not have uh, the direction. So, so yeah. because while creating the driving direction was not enabled, so uh, I will also check on how to create data with that direction being enabled. But then this is how you can do new route. And then you can also save it by right clicking and then exporting it as usual under there. Yeah right click on the route and then you export as usual so you could go on on this other analysis the new area new service area closes by using the other ones every other thing remains the same so i think we have bring the issue of uh, network analysis to an end so stay tuned thank you for watching thank you for being with us for this while other courses are spreading up so just keep uh, tuning in subscribe to the channel so that you can get all the updates that will be bringing your way all right so thank you very much for and now you can join our membership uh, group 
just click on join as you tune into any of our video you see join button click on it and then join you can support us through our patreon and you can support us by buying our membership monthly any of the membership there is as cheap as possible so just support us in any way you can so that we can keep making content for you god bless you and bye bye